The Mexican national soccer team defeated Brazil to claim the gold medal in the 2012 Olympics in London. Upon conclusion of the Olympics, Team Mexico returned medals in hand to their homes in California, Arizona, and Texas. <laughs> American bakery Cinnabon, based in Seattle, has announced they will try their hand at the pizza market with their newly released item, the Pizza Bun. Cinnabon says they will also be working closely with doctors in Seattle on a new type 3 diabetes cure. Oh. The new animated children's film, The Lorax, hit theaters this past year, starring Danny DeVito as the title character. It's an oddly shaped hairy creature that resembles a small walrus. And so is the Lorax. <laughs> Coincidentally, so is Dave Sattler. <laughs> Numerous communities in the Midwest have started a recycling program called Cans for Kids. The concept is to collect and recycle aluminum cans and have the proceeds go towards such things as children's education. In a related story, Cold Water Rotary is thinking of donating all of its beer cans from the Rotary Show to help build a brand new study wing at Lake Middle School. <laughs> From Terry and Charlie Bouchard said, we're all doing our best. <laughs> if we keep pushing hard, I think my gallery and I can buy all of the books alone. <laughs> They made their goal, I think. <laughs> Patrons in a Branch County bar were astonished to see and reported to police that two minors were drinking alcohol inside the establishment. Before police could arrive, the pair had left. Eyewitnesses told police that the two white males, approximately four feet tall, consumed two beers each, then hopped in a car and drove off erratically. Says one eyewitness, I'm not even sure they were drunk, I just don't think they could see over the dashboard. <laughs> Security cameras at the bar caught a photo of the two pint-sized drinkers, and police say to be on the lookout for these two. <laughs> the date for which some conspiracy theorists believe would be the end of the world due to the Mayan calendar came and went with no apparent problems. Branch County, however, reported one minor apocalyptic event on January 1st with the swearing in of Kirk Cash and his probate. Oh. Summer <laughs> oh. <laughs> A local Branch County woman is in the mix yet again. Police responded to a 911 call from a local store reporting a very, very unruly customer. According to the report, the woman became upset with the clerk who asked if she was Polish after she ordered a Polish sausage. The woman said, quote, well, who does that? I mean, if I ordered an Italian sausage, would he ask if I was Italian? Or am I Hispanic because I ordered a taco? Police were able to resolve the incident after explaining to the woman that Home Depot does not sell Polish sausages. <laughs> A new virus outbreak in Branch County has now hit the cold water area. <laughs> Experts say symptoms include diminished motor skills, trouble walking, talking inappropriately, and falling down frequently. In fact, 85 cases of the rotocyler virus have been... transfer is a new technology at the CHC where a machine allows women to transfer a portion of their labor pains during childbirth for the father. <laughs> Staff explained that setting the pain transfer dial to 10% would be probably more pain than the father had ever experienced before. A cold water couple was the first to try the new technology. The birth went smoothly, and doctors were amazed to find that the pain transfer to the husband started at 10% and 
and eventually he was dialed up to 100% as he continued to feel no ill effects nor any pain during the birth. <laughs> Arriving home the next morning, the husband immediately called 911 in a panic to report that he had found a dead mailman in their driveway. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.